probably about 85%. Start with Lily. Alright. <coughs> uh, not every Greetings, citizens of the internet. I'm Static Buzz, and we're going to be playing some Fantasy Star Online 2. This is the Xbox closed open. I don't know. It's a beta for the Xbox. I don't know if it's closed or opened or whatnot. It is the beta for Fantasy Star Online 2, though. And. Oh, Sega. <clears throat> wow, got me again. Uh, that is really loud in my headphones. All right, turn that down. So we'll watch the intro here, and then I'll get into it. Alright, so I had actually started this uh, last night. I was in the process of creating a character and then they had uh, emergency maintenance and took the servers down. So I wasn't able to do it last night, so we're doing it today. And I really hope that there's a way I can turn the volume down because it is really loud and I think that it's probably clashing with my voice. Uh, but at any rate, we're going to go and get into this. There is no settings here that I can see, and there's no settings at, on the title screen, so we're just going to go in and start the game. So ships are servers. It's the way you can look at them. So we're going to go on ship two, because it's normal, and that's where we started our... started doing the character creator. Now, b before I started the character creator, there was a begin or a start here kind of option above the all the servers, and it selected a server for you automatically and all that kind of stuff, and then brought you to the character creation. So, anyways, character creation, create new character because I never finished Oracle. or never saved. A giant fleet on an interplanetary voyage. Its inception made deep space travel possible, ushering in a new chapter in history. Now our sphere of activity spans across multiple galaxies. Thus did Oracle form a force to explore the unknown planets it discovers along the way. This force arcs, explores, and surveys alien planets. Arx is comprised of four species that belong to Oracle. Humans, natural all-rounders. Numans, photon manipulators. Casts, sturdy mechanical beings. Dumans, martial masters. 
Here in arts, each species covers for the other's shortcomings and works together. <coughs> Looks like we've arrived. We're approaching the planet Navarius. It's uncivilized, with aggressive wildlife. Whatever you do, stay sharp. Good luck out there. Greetings, Ox recruits. You have done well. You now stand poised to take your first steps into the vast frontier of space. If you're prepared to face the challenge of the unknown, enter your personal path. Then, from all of us, welcome aboard. Alright, it is amazing to think that this game was released in July of 2012 in Japan. And it looks the way it does. Alright, so... We have male humans, and you can kind of see they look like male humans. We have female humans and they look like female humans with nothing left to the imagination I mean look at this archer there is no curves that are hiding there <laughs> all right uh, Newman which are these elf looking race and here's the male here's the female and they too don't hide the curves which I'm not mad at then we have cast these are the robotic I find these ones funny because these are the males and they all look like mechs as soon as you go to the females they all look like females <laughs> with mech skins so it is kind of humorous that they still made them have the sex appeal of a normal female which I guess makes sense and then the Dumen, which are, if you read down, a race born from photon research on humans. So they have little horns on their head. You can see the males have one right in the center. And the females, who look like male females, have two horns. And that one had a multicolor eye. That was interesting. So those are green. I want to see if this next one has multicolor. If they're, they're both blue. Alright, so anyways, I'm going to go with a male human. Nah, maybe I'll go female. Yeah, we'll go female. Give you guys something to look at. And I was going to go force, which is like a mage. So let's go over these. we got hunter. Looks like a, a melee class with the two-handed sword. Ranger, which has assault rifles and whatnot machine gun type force which looks like the mage you can see him in the bottom left down there summoner which has pets that you command and they do most of the fighting for you a bouncer which is like a martial artist with jump rocket boots it uh, looks kind of interesting and a brawler which looks like it has a katana and a bow I'm gonna go force just because I want uh, something that I normally don't play and something that lights up the screen which should be a mage type so we're gonna go with that the great thing is is you can always switch just like Final Fantasy 15 14 14 online you can you do all the classes with one character and I guess there are two classes that aren't in the startup that you could do as well. Well, she's tiny, kind of cute. And she's tiny, but not cute. Eh. All right, let's go all the way to the top since we didn't see the first two. And I think I might go with this last one. I kind of like her eyes. So we'll go with her, and oh, we can actually edit it in more details. Let's do that. Yeah. All right. So customize the face, base face. Uh, it, did it change at all? Oh wow. 
That one's eerie, scary looking. That's not too bad. A six. I kind of going between six and eight. All right, and then don't care about the makeup and everything, but the hairstyle we do care about. Let's go with. Yeah, hard to say. What do we want to go with? Oh, there are multiple pages. All right, so let's go down the next. What's on the second page? All right, we'll go with that. Hair color. Oh, wow. Let's go with something a little blue just to be kind of in the here and now. And I think... Uh, all right, we can go to body now. Oh, whoa. How do I zoom back? There we go. Oh, wow. All right. Uh, okay. How do I change the body type? <laughs> you know what? That's good. Let's just go ahead and go with that. And oh, we can customize body. Here we go. Base body type. There we go. I want somebody kind of tiny. Six might be good. Ooh, tattoo. Uh, you know what? I think seven might be better. Yeah, seven's good. All right, and there's body paint. I guess it's the black. I don't know. All right, we'll go ahead and go with that. We're not going to get too extravagant. And customize attire, outfit, collage. Let's go. Is there more than? And okay. I'm not seeing where this is changing anything. Oh, on the neck piece. Okay. Don't really like any of them, so I'll go with the one that hides the most. Accessories. I'm going through this so you guys can see all the options here. How come that did not pop on? It's not going on. Alright. I'll go with none there and none there. Alright, let's go back. And we'll go next. And give a name. Uh, I don't really know what name to give. So we'll call her after a flower. If they let us. Oh. Uh, what's the difference? Ah, casual. I just want to play and check it out. Cheers. Name's Often. Pleased to meet you, mate. I was not expecting it to be voice acted. All right. No need to search the room. It's you I'm talking to. Mate is you, mate. Mate? Fates put us together for this mission. So let's make the most of it. Teleportation coordinates set. All ARCS operatives, proceed with your mission. Guess they're all set. Looks like we've got a nice and easy spot for our first mission, eh, mate? Let's just stay nice and chill. His mouth would have kept moving if I wouldn't hit the button. That's funny. For some reason, I'm a bit nervous to jump into that telepool. 
I'm not boom. Hey, go. Ox, ox. <laughs> Let's give it a shot, mate. <clears throat> I took it from the intro video. That's what we were supposed to do. So why not? <clears throat> okay, I can kind of see some of the 2012 wow. textures. Isn't this in here. a sight? The whole area is covered top to bottom in nothing but green. Really kinda gets the old blood pumping. Kind of reminds me of Sword Art Online a little bit. Now hold on. Oh, let's not get too eager too quickly. The game, not the series, by the way. Oh, that's right. This is our first taste of actual combat in the field. I guess we ought to practice the basics first, then. I am Hilda, the operator. I will begin your certification mission. First, I will check your vision. Take a look around you. Let's see... What's wrong, mate? Try taking a look around you. Good. You didn't seem to have any trouble. Next, I will confirm your maneuverability. Move to the specified location. I'm trying to see if there's a... Oh wait, is this the bottom down there? The arrow is pointing at our objective. Let's go. There we go. Options. Uh, audio controls. There we go. Take it down to 35. Sound effects down to 70. Voice. Voice will leave up. In-game playback. All right. All right, we're good. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure because that seemed like it was going a little loud. Looks like you have no problem with movement. Next, I will confirm how you jump. You see those blocks in front of you? Jump over them. Good. Okay, now I'll confirm how you attack. Teleporting a virtual target. Use your equipped weapon to attack it. Okay, let's kick some ass! All right, that's kind of interesting to see. Next, I'll how confirm this works. your techniques. Teleporting virtual targets. All right, that doesn't. That right button is a little weird. I almost, I want to hit the B button. Alright. Mage might not be that great, but... Hold down and charge. That wasn't too bad. This is the X button. That's like magic missiles to the oomph degree. That looks kind of cool. Let me get it from the side. Let's see if I can do that. A little bit from the side. That's kind of cool. Well then, kinda let's cool. continue by confirming your perfect attack. Destroy the virtual target. What is a perfect attack? After performing a normal attack or using technique, your next. After performing a normal attack or using a technique, time your next attack with the red circle 
that appears for a perfect attack. Am I doing this right? Okay, I think I got it right. Now don't forget that feeling. Now, it's time to commence your practical training. Proceed. Oh, is that a Sylvan's? It sure seems like a handful, but... Uh, I just get the feeling it wants to be friends. Mate, it looks like we're in for a brawl. Multiple enemies have appeared. Don't forget to dodge their attacks. All right, how do we heal? Oh. Oh. She, like... That's nice. All right. I'm still wondering how we heal, but all right. We'll figure that out. Too bad, Enemy not too suppression shabby. confirmed. You did well. Proceed. Proceed. Training mission. So far, not too bad. I'm not sure this is the class for me, but... Alright, what am I missing that... Oh! PP! Okay, there's a PP thing over there that I gotta watch out for. And I think attacking uh, kind of brings it back. It comes back automatically, but I think attacking makes it come go faster. We'll we'll test that after we get past this. While we're at it, let's confirm how you heal. Zero. 
You will be incapacitated. Don't forget to heal ASAP. Okay, this completes the certification mission. Proceed to the end. Alright, hit B to pick things up. Didn't say that, but I figured it out. Okay, I feel like we're gonna have like a mini boss. There it is! Mini boss! Emergency! Code! Deal! Your objective is to suppress the rock bear. Utilize the skills you've honed to suppress it. Read the enemy's movements and strike its weak point. You'll see an opening after it performs a large attack. Aim for it. What? We're going to fight that huge thing all of a sudden? Mate, I'll provide backup. You take the lead. Can't tell which one does more damage at this point. The rock bear's weak point is its head. Watch its movements closely and attack its head after oh, it performs on. a large attack. We just need to dodge these attacks. Then we can hit it while it's down. So keep dodging, mate. All right, here we go. That's why we got such a huge hit, because we got his weak point early on. Help me or somewhere? Uh, I'm not seeing it. Yeah, I'm Completed. not seeing it. I did not see a help meter. The right, results so are superb. The way I see it, you should have no problem being an ARCS operative. All right. Time to make for the collection point so you can come back. Head toward the next area. All right, we got another chest. You know we like the shinies. What was those? Mono... Okay, those are healing things? And... Uh, doesn't really go fast on the dodge. Can't use it as a movement enhancement. Uh-oh. What's happening? Emergency message from General Control to all ARCS operatives. A Code F order has been issued for Nevarius. Dangerous photon levels detected. I repeat, a Code F order has been issued for Nevarius. Spatial corruption has been detected. Hey, you seeing this, mate? This is some kind of joke! This lord just appeared out of thin air! Full spawn presence confirmed! They're exceeding the tolerable limit! Be advised, all ARCS operatives! This is a top priority order! Neutralize full spawn on site! That's a lot of them though! Are these wankers real full spawn! The evil thing's trying to consume the entire universe! Why are they showing up here of all places? They're back There should be any on the various! I knew somebody was going to come in and help. Man, too that was almost too dead on. Good thing I prepared for the worst. Are you here to help us? Phew, we're saved. We don't have time to settle down right now, though, because the collection point is just up ahead. Let's bust through these things. Wait a sec, are we fighting these things too? That's what you signed up for when you joined ARCS, isn't it? Your friend there looks ready and raring to go. What's your excuse? Come on, mate. Fine, I get it. We don't have a heckin' choice in it one way or another, huh? Nope. Let's go. 
Oh, You're that's... certainly calm for your first rodeo. There's something about you. Hmm? Oh, uh, sorry. Didn't mean to stare. I get the feeling like I've seen you somewhere before. Just can't place where, though. Anyway, think less, act more. Let's get this show on the road, rookies. Stick with me! Has that old silent protagonist nod go on in there. Chapter Zero, the day I was waiting for. I've been waiting for this day forever. <laughs> Zeno has joined the party. All right, I didn't know we had NPCs in the party, but... Oh, that's cool. He's got a little robot with him. I want one. Does your current weapon suit you? You should try various kinds of weapons until you find one you like. There we go. Oh, I can change here? Ah! Not a good idea to be doing that here, though. All right, are they all gone? They are. Now we can do it. How do I change? There we go. Uh, what is this? That's the brawler. That looks like a sword. Yeah, I think I'll stick with what I got until I can actually switch classes. It'll work. It does do a lot of damage. Can't complain about the damage. Did we get them all? We did, alright. Are there like any hidden items? I don't know. I'm looking around in the crevices. All right. The collection point is just Let's ahead. See. We have to endure a bit longer. <sighs> Why did this have to happen right after our certification mission? Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. That one came in hot and heavy. how some of the trees fall down. It's kind of cool. Ow. How's my health? I'm alright. Their edges, okay. Oh, what the deuce? All right, uh, how do you heal again? Uh, no. How do I heal? I'm trying to remember. Uh, so that wasn't an edge, that was just me needing to heal.
How do I heal? Really, how do I heal? Come on now. Oh, left. No. I'm on the right one. How the heck do I heal? Alright, let's just try to do it from items. I'll figure it out later. I can't do it from items. Dang it. Okay, why can't I heal? Options, control settings. Uh oh, it's, it's here. I gotta fight. There we go. Why can't I heal? <laughs> what is the heal button? I'm hitting every button. Am I seriously going to have to go back and watch the video to figure out what the heal button is? Oh my gosh. This is kind of ridiculous. What is the dang heal button? Alright, here we go.
going to be control settings. There we go. Action. The, the weapon action. Oh, it's the left button, right? There we go. Woo. Or not the left button. The left stick. You click it. I forgot. It's like clicking all the buttons. Couldn't remember it was the left stick. Alright. Another boss. Yeah, here we go, another boss. Emergency! Code Dew! Code Dew! <laughs> what was that? We can't possibly defeat that huge one! Why not? I'm going to get the return telepipe ready! So go take care of that huge boss spawn! Roger, Echo. I'll clear them out with a photon blast. Buy me some time, rookies! That was close too. I think I figured out our approach. It has pretty thin legs for such a giant body. So let's try focusing our attacks on one of the legs. All right. So that is kind of how it works. You get more PP if you melee attack it. We gotta go for all the legs now. Completed. All right, what did we complete? I don't even know what that was. All right, we're gonna go for the back leg now. Oh, what happened? What happened? Cutscene time? Yeah, not bad. You held your own. I'm all set here, so let's keep pressing on. Oh, I want one of those. Oh, I definitely want one of those. That oh, was nice. I want one. Give me now. <laughs> Holy shit! Was that a photon blast? Look what it did in just a split second! All thanks to you two standing firm. Appreciate the help. Surrounding area secured. We're sending in a telepipe now, so come on back. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what is... When you defeat a boss, a red boss container appears. Attack it to break it, and it'll drop items. Noise. Oh, I got an alpha rod. Okay. Returning. I'd hit B on that to activate it. A weird, a little weird, but I'm liking it so far. Welcome back, everyone. I'm glad you made it back in one piece. Everyone okay? No injuries? Hey, come on. They had me watching out for him. You think I let something happen? 
Now, for proper introductions. I'm Zeno. The one who never shuts up is Echo. Pleasure meeting the two of you. Also, do me a favor and ignore everything he says. Oh, cheers. The name's Often. Pleasure's all ours, love. And this here's my new mate. We're pretty fresh out of training and barely start learning what's what in Ox, so... Don't sweat the details, kid. Let the higher-ups worry about it. Or get stuck figuring it out for yourself. Those things back there, Fallspawn, they're pretty much Ark's enemy number one. That's about all I can tell you. You're actually kind of lucky you had to face the hard truth about life and Ark's right away. Keeps you from holding on to any illusions, at least. Have a little sympathy, Zeno. These kids just got thrust into the middle of a battlefield. They must be shocked. Well, sitting around dwelling on it won't make us not at war with the Fallspawn. The sooner you rip off that bandage, the longer you can survive. Oh, come on, don't scare him. You both made it back in one piece, right? Certification mission completed. That's cause to celebrate. Uh, yeah. Attaboy often. Even if nothing makes sense, long as you have the willpower to grit your teeth and nod, you'll do just fine. That pain? That frustration you feel, never forget it, and never give up. If you can handle that, you'll manage. Zeno's got away with words, doesn't he? Until you realize he stole them all wholesale from someone else. Thanks, Echo. Just blow everything wide open, why don't ya? Anyway, my mentor's wisdom is my wisdom. Nice saying. Did you come up with it yourself? And besides, you always do whatever you want, never giving a thought to all my hard work. Yeah? Is it my fault you're always late? Stuff it, Zeno! Look, we're finally arriving at the Ark ship! Quit standing there snickering and help with the preparations, rookie! Alrighty. Today I was waiting for end chapter zero. Episode one, chapter zero. Gateway ship. Amazing, hey. S rank. Oh, there's ranks on the missions. Nice. Okay. So what's all this stuff? I can't do anything there. Can't do anything there. Nothing there. Alright, so let's guess we're supposed to go here. Let's. Wait, no, I don't want to return to lobby. You can return to Arc Ship by accessing the teleporter in the back. I guess maybe we are supposed to head to the lobby? Alright, turn to lobby. Okay, so it's taking us back up to the ship we came from. I think it looks like it's got a city inside of it. Wonder what AP stands for. Well, wow. now that we're all back in one piece, maybe it's time to take a load off in the lobby. Hold it right there, mister. The report comes first. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know that. Such a pain. Well, rookies, I guess you're on your own now. Can't play babysitter forever. Still, maybe it was fate that brought us together like this. If you ever need anything, don't be a stranger. Be seeing ya! Nice saying, you Good luck out there! It's a couple of hurricanes. Or well, maybe the hurricane's all that stuff we just went through. Either way, I'm bushed. This looks like the lobby for us Ark's operatives. Should be plenty of shops here. Plus some places when you're keen on taking a break every once in a while. In any case, I'm going to walk around a bit and take a breather. 
I'm gonna need some time to decompress and process what just happened. Take it easy, mate. Liars, mate. And then I was by myself. Oh, I can invite them into my group. Okay, that's interesting. Arc ship, arc lobby. I was already there. Why is it loading? Oh, other players. Okay. Nice. Can't move yet, though. Why not? Greetings. I am Astarte, the officer in charge of basic instruction at Arcs. Allow me to give you an overview of our Arcs mission practical instruction program. The purpose of these Arcs missions is to offer you a practical way to learn the basics of the organization by completing various tasks. It will all make more sense once we actually get started. I'll open the main menu automatically here for you. Now please select Arcs Missions from the quest menu. Arcs Missions. Yes. Next, let's take a look at how to progress through these missions. Go and speak with Rebecca here in front of you and accept the story quest and encounter with Xion. All right, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and end this episode. I think it's a good spot. When we come back, we will check out the Ark Lobby and see how things progress from here. Maybe even switch classes and try another one. Maybe the one with the assault rifle might be fun. Either way, uh, get out of my way, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing, man? What are you doing? It's not a way to pick up on a lady. All right. So anyways, until next video, take care. Bye-bye now. Static buzz out. I need to see if uh, I have any items that I can switch. I know I have... Plus 50... What is this? Talus. Oh, that's the boots. What is this? Normal. F Guess we get more moves or something. Alright, uh, what other equipment do I have? Nothing there. Nothing there. Alright. 